Hey everybody, my name is Rido, and today we will be wrapping up episode 2 of Sam and Max. Uh, for all honesty's sake, I do have to admit that I made a mistake. Nothing wrong with the program caused this, even though there are things wrong with the program. And I didn't record myself beating this game the first time, so now I've had to quickly because the autosave saved before uh, saved after the last recording uh, I couldn't just load into a save file the autosave file because then I still would have not recorded the footage that I needed to record so that's my fault both by hitting the wrong button and by not saving after each episode and I will hopefully learn from that but I've ran through the game really fast which is kind of a statement on the game itself is if you know what to do it only takes about 20 minutes to get to the end of the game but you may notice that the casserole a la Sam and Max is in a different place and maybe you'll notice that some dialogue stuff might not have been clicked on now there is a new thing I have noticed about this program is if you're going to use the telltale game resolution tool when you seem to quit it messes up one of the settings which messes it up for my recording software so I have to go back and reset the setting does that matter for anybody that just wants to play the game in 1080p they probably wouldn't notice if it is changing the resolution visually or if it's just changing something internally uh, I can't really tell myself it what I was doing in the recording software, OBS by the way, is what I used, it was, it was putting a black line at the bottom and I was like, well I don't want a black line at the bottom. Anywho, that has nothing to do with playing the game, so let's play the game. We're going to wrap it up today, particularly Hi, since Hugh I Bliss. know what to do. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. I challenge you to change colors again. Okay. Let's get Hugh Bliss to, to go back. Uh, let's make him blue this time. Do blue, Hugh. Mm. And then let's get another photo with him. How about another picture, Hugh Bliss? How about this? Instead of a new picture, we'll just recycle the old one. Save the earth. Sure, whatever. Gather round. See Bye. you, Hugh. Okay. So, we need the million dollars, and it wasn't a situation where we had to find the right question, the answers to these questions. All we need to do is take Peeper's lyrics and stick them in the card slot, and then we can answer the questions that hey, were his, leak, his lyrics, uh, which are easy enough to answer we've, well, got, we've got things, things to, to do. do and things to be there are several dialogue pathways I'm just gonna skip got another contestant. Hit it. Uh, welcome back because Our it would take another are... episode These guys again. if we just okay. went through every ready? single dialogue choice hmm. the question is Am I blue? So, uh, last time I did this, he wasn't blue, so I said no, this time he is blue, so I'll say yes. Yes, you, yes, you are. Well, what do you know? That's absolutely right! Yes. Congratulations! You, so you don't really need to make him change his colors to blue. Uh, you can just say no if he isn't blue. I don't believe it. Well, this is awkward, but we don't actually have a million in cash. Sweet mother of all quiz show scandals. We'll have to give you a million dollars worth of food stamps. They're right over there. Hold on. Can you buy deep fried licorice rubs with food stamps? We'll take it. One, hmm. two, three, one hundred seventy-four. 
175, 999,999, and a million. Let's go spend it, Sam. It's burning a hole in my pocket. It's putting quite a bulge in mine. All right, so we now have that million dollars in food stamps, so we can get the voice changer. And we need to actually get a cake, too. Uh, Wizard will only eat cake. He won't eat the casserole. Instead of, I don't think I've shown them proven that, but just believe me. Uh, it's the truth. He's saving it all for cake. So we just need to do the cooking show yet again. Uh, Welcome once again to Cooking Without Looking, the show where we use absolutely no natural ingredients whatsoever and still make something you guys can choke down. Definitely the way this game is stretched out is, is a bit of a problem. Thank you, and welcome It doesn't to encourage you to play the game this time, twice. Sam? It would be super frustrating to play this game two twice in a row. Today we're because a you're Let's basically doing each one of these scenes the several here. times in sure the game pot, just Sam. to do it. Max, let's leave the cooking to me and the eating to you. Just to successfully beat the game, you have to do every scene at least twice, if not several more times. Of course, it wouldn't be real bachelor cooking without tweed. Bachelors, and you could sit here. Tweed isn't just for cooking, it also makes a great toupee. And try every single ingredient. None of these ingredients, as far as my knowledge, mean anything, so we can just click cook it We've now. We've already got that thing we made before. No, I ate it while you were looking at the ingredients. Now do we broil it, Sam? Right you are, little buddy. Into the oven it goes. And, through the magic of TV cooking show time, one gorgeous, delicious cake ready to be binged upon or shared amongst friends. Hmm. Oh boy, let's take it with us. And then we're going to click on the fridge because even in the regular game, the best you could do is click right there and then click right here to not click on the fridge. But the fridge takes up most of the entire screen at regular resolutions to, uh, to get to the doorway. So it seems like it doesn't auto save every time you walk through a door. It, it has like a timer. Uh, because if it did, then it would have actually. Well, that wouldn't have helped me any in it, at all. Because the auto save was past the point where we finished the last episode. It, what would help me is if the auto save system kept several saves, and that's what eventually auto saves started doing for as kind of an industry standard is the autosave has at least three saves but still even in 2015 games they'll autosave like every 10 seconds and you won't realize that the mistake or bug happened until uh, five autosaves ago so that still doesn't help us uh, so you need autosave to make multiple saves, but then you also need to probably save every hour, every 30 minutes to an hour, yourself in games. It's Sam and Mac. I saw you on the telly. How do you watch TV from in there? I've got monitors you don't even know about. Like, I don't know if he had said that dialogue before, and because I'm playing a new v version of the game, I hadn't done this. Uh, let's give him his shaving cream back. Hey, Bosco, we've retrieved your precious shaving cream. Jolly good show, jolly good. Now, if you're wondering about the reward money, yes, we do accept personal checks and all major credit cards. No, as a reward for retrieving the can of shaving cream, I hereby grant you a can of shaving cream. Gee, thanks. That was useless. Alright, let's give him the food stamps then. We want to buy something. Quite so! Give us the voice modulator. We come bearing one million American dollars. Now hand over the voice modulator. Blimey! Food stamps? I suppose I must accept them. Oh, the Danish government conspiracy. It's hogwash! Complete codswallop! 
Here, then, is your chemical-based voice modulator. This is a helium balloon strapped to an inhaler. But it works. Trust me, trust me. Holy chipmunk, Ari is warbling out of a souped-up 78-speed turntable. It works. Thanks, Bosco. So, there are several things that happen at the end here, in particular, that if you just didn't catch on or know what you would or realize what they wanted or how to do it, you could get very stuck and end up adding several hours of just wandering around and clicking on everything and trying it. This is one of the greatest examples. Use the cake here on the condiments. A little ketchup is always good on a cake. And we need ketchup on the cake because Wizard is allergic to uh, catch tomato products and that's going to send him off to the bathroom and then I can don't have to convince him so I can win the recording contract because he would never vote for me he was always going to vote for his brother I don't believe there's anything we need to go talk to Sybil about so we'll just skip it uh, in all honesty, there's probably enough game left at this point that if I stretched it long enough, I could make two episodes. Where are we going, Sam? But I think it, it's better we just wrap it the up. TV studio. Goody. Particularly since this was the second time in in a couple hours that I played the the section or this game, in fact. So we need to get Wizard out of the picture we can do that so we give the cake over here to wizard and say happy birthday happy birthday oh boy birthday cake that red frosty looks tasty <laughs> Me. Oh, that was really, oh, oh really, oh, 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 time out for number two! What? what the, darn it, he better not be going to see Myra. Well, anyway, we can't wait. We'll just have to finish the show with only two judges. Whatever you guys agree on goes. Vote for me! Okay. So now I just need to hit the high note and Specs will vote for me. So I'll use my voice modulator. Testing, one, two, three. And I think you could hey, possibly I, I, mess this up this if thing. you didn't have. Go right ahead. Uh, Frankly, we can use all the contestants. If you don't we match the lyrics Ladies and correctly, you could possibly lose Sam. Sam's vote. Hello. I'd like to do a little song I call. So. You have four here. You have Busted Down Hound Dog Blues. Love Has a Thony Backside. Bottleneck on the Freeway of Doom. Just like someone else's song, only better. So let's do Bottleneck on the Freeway of Doom. Bottleneck on the Freeway of Doom. <coughs> and... Let's see. We go. I'm cryptic and therefore deep. May the starfish justice not immune. So what he says has nothing to do with what I just picked. And keep in mind that Specs' glasses just broke there. Thinking about the rings on the great racket. Yeah, he's, it doesn't really seem seem like even what to matter what you say. It's just the same song. Road to someday, bits of me are strewn. Hmm. And let's hear from our judges. Bravo! Your wobbly tenor is way better than Peeper's shrill squawking. You really nailed that high note. Woo! And you're less sloppy than my brother is. You got my vote. Hey! All of the remaining judges have agreed. We have a winner. No. 
Congratulations, Sam. Here's your recording contract. Ben Bottom Records. It's like a dream come true. Specs, I'll get you for this if it's the last thing I do. Right after I get back from Mount Rushmore. Rushmore? I'd better go after him. I just remembered. I have to feed my goldfish. Are we still taping? Uh, be sure to join us next time on Embarrassing Idol. <laughs> so, that's kind of weird. They all left the scene. The show's over. You don't have to be up there anymore. I know, but I'm waiting for random people to pass by so I can heckle the way they walk. Okay, so we've got our tabloid evidence, scandal evidence, and we have our recording contract. So now we can get into Myra's uh, show as guests and figure out what's going on with Myra and beat this game. It kind of abruptly ends. Uh, somewhat but it would probably be more accurate to say it abruptly locks you into a puzzle and then you have to solve that puzzle to get to the end hmm. I wonder when it zooms up if it actually is hiding a loading time It'd be kind of weird if it actually does take any loading, but at least we've never seen a loading screen, so if it, that is its trick to avoid loading screens, I guess that's acceptable. Yes? Oh, you two again. Well, what is it? You've got the length of one commercial break to explain yourself. How do we get on your show again? Remind me what your requirements are for guests on your show. Of course, dear. I'll need to see your recording contract, a clip from your TV show, and some evidence of a juicy scandal. What if we have our own video game? Video game? Ugh, those things will ruin your eyes. They're awful. Well, we have a recording contract. We have a recording contract. In Bottom Records, take a look. You should have us on as guests. I like my guests to be celebrities audiences are talking about. Have you been embroiled in any juicy scandals lately? Why, Our yes, landlady thinks I'm the one who broke the dryer in the basement. Come back when the media is talking about you. And don't forget to wash behind your ears first. Hmm. Actually, we graced the cover of the current edition of the Alien Love Triangle Times. How's that for a scandal? You'll have us on your show now, yes? Oh, I suppose so. If only so I could talk about America's lamentably endless fascination with depravity. Yay! Naturally, I will expect you to be on your best behavior and agree with everything I say and answer every question I have and don't interrupt and keep your elbows off the table and use your indoor voice. What about... While you're on my show, you stay in your seats at all times. You do not interrupt me when I'm talking and you treat the audience with the utmost respect, even if you become less sure with each passing year that they deserve it. Now, I'll call you on stage in a minute. Hmm. Gosh, Max. Celebrity is just a never-ending set of arbitrary goals one accomplishes to appease a dismissive and distracted, if not entirely absent, authority figure. I don't know if I agree, Sam, but I've begun my decadent slide into a depraved personal hell just in case. <laughs> Give her a hand, everyone! Bessie Bobine reading from her new book, the heart has four stomachs, ruminations on a life in Hollywood. Out now in all major bookstores. This microphone is starting to spark from overuse, but that doesn't mean we're ready to pack it in. We've got the stars of the not-quite-canceled sitcom Midtown Cowboys, not quite who canceled. also happen to be the winner and judge of TV's Embarrassing Idol. Ladies and gentlemen, Sam and Matt. Hold the hayride, little pal. That bear seems more than slightly hinky, in the mesmeric sense of the term. Shadier than a fat man's ankles. Let's take it down like ducks in a gutter. Hold it! My guests sit at that end! But that bear has got you. Sit! We'll just sit where you want us to, ma'am. Lovely. What gives, Sam? Why can't we just grab the bear? It would appear that the laws of physics are different on the set of a talk show, little buddy. We're gonna have to play along. 
Sam and Max, your talented, hot new celebrities who've taken the entertainment world by storm. So naturally, we all want to hear everything about your involvement in the scandal detailed in the Alien Love Triangle Times. Okay, so... Here's our final puzzle. Pretty abrupt, we have this teddy bear here that just is hypnotizing or no real inclination or explanation about it and let's see rather talk about midtown cowboys I'd rather talk about the bear I'd like to talk about that charming yet mildly insidious looking bear on your desk can I see it I don't know Sam can you <laughs> may I see it please no you may not and if I may say so if there's one thing that grills my chicken, it's how our culture is in a state of modal decay. Can is not the same as may. Should is not the same as blah, blah, blah. Yuck, blah, 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 blue, blue, blue. Hopefully she'll be off on her tri-state nagging spree for a while. Blah, blah, so, blah, blah, yak, 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 she just starts going blah, 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 yak, yak, yak. yak, 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 yak so blah, let's try the blah, tear blah, gas grenade. I'm wise in front of a live studio audience. Oh, come on. Let's try the real gun. Put that away right now. Let's try... Game show questions. She appears to have plenty to say already. The photo with Hugh Bliss. I'd like to show you this photo of us. I think we've all seen enough photos of you already. <laughs> but silence while I'm talking. So the real situation here is that there's not. There's a ton of things you could do here with all the stuff we picked up. I think we were discussing and the there's alien love a significant times amount of dialogue affair of yours. To, uh, as red herrings. In fact, they even bothered to double up here so that you can have Max even say some stuff. I'd like to mention my pal Sam and something that happened the other day. Anecdotes about other celebrities, even ones as dubious as you two, are always welcome. Well, I was battering this purse snatcher mm. with a broken parking meter and screaming, Die! Why won't you die? And Sam said, <laughs> You crack me up, little buddy. The point being? I crack Sam up. Are you sure you wouldn't rather talk about your alien love triangle shenanigans? So, they're kind of pointing towards what you want to do. But there actually is more to it first. Uh... If we say this about There's the picture in the we Times, should know about that picture in the Times. I'm not sure. I want to know anything more. Maybe you big Hollywood types thinks it's funny to flaunt your polyplanetary pickups, but the rest of us find alien love triangles, frankly, disgusting. Mm. But the photo is not quite what it seems. How so? There's someone else involved. There's no alien, it's Hugh Bliss. It's not a picture of an alien at all. That's Hugh Bliss. Hugh Bliss? The highly respected founder of prismatology? Don't be ridiculous. Why, I've had him on my show before, and he certainly isn't green. What are you really hiding? How much I'm scared of being buffeted by another gust of Hurricane Myra? Flattery will get you nowhere, mister. I don't know about you, audience, but as a girl, I was taught that flattery was the worst possible way to blah, 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 yak, yak, yak. <laughs> okay. So, you need to take your voice modulation and use it again. And then, talk to her. <laughs> ah, yes. Where were we? I think we were discussing the alien love triangle times and that nasty, scandalous affair of yours. And then, I'd rather relive my embarrassing idol glory. I'd like to sing, if I may. Is that wise? Howling at that trippy old house of moon. And it breaks Whoa. her glasses. Careful there, Tiger. That was wonderful. I'm so moved, I almost don't have a long hectoring screen in me. Oh no, wait, there it is. Thank goodness. Self-referential songwriting is a dangerously blah, 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 yak, 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 yak. 
And if you had clicked on the dialogue and not used the voice modulation, your banjo is here. So it makes it even more clear that you could have then used the vo voice modulator again and clicked on the banjo. But that's the first step. You have to break the glass to make this puddle. And it, and if you hadn't paid attention to the fact that Specs broke his glasses when you sang, you wouldn't really catch on to that or it would be difficult. Now we need to get her to move this sparking, sparking microphone. <laughs> ah, yes. Where were we? I think we were discussing the alien love triangle times and that nasty, scandalous affair of yours. Let's see. About the picture in the Times. There's more you should know about that picture in the Times. What's that? There's someone else involved. It doesn't tell the whole story. There's someone else involved. Someone the picture doesn't show. Hmm. How shocking. Who? Let's try Philo Pennyworth. Philo Pennyworth. As I'm sure most of you know, Philo Pennyworth is the actor who plays Mr. Featherly on Midtown Cowboys. And we happen to have him backstage. Let's bring him out. She moved it, but she moved it to the right side where he goes to this chair. Philo, give us your side. Is it true? Myra, please, of course not. I'm a veteran of the British stage. I'd never be caught cavorting with a dog, a rabbit, and an alien. It's so 1997. Yikes! I doubt we'll hear a more terrifying denial. This year, anyone who is anyone is all about birds of prey, ring-tailed lemurs, and Bigfoot. No one will ever take you seriously at the Globe Theatre otherwise. <laughs> and there you have it. I'm so shocked, I'm going to talk for at least the next five minutes about blah, 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 yak, yak, yak. So you could say other people are involved. And you notice in our 1080p resolution, he's not quite walked off the whole screen. You, of course, wouldn't have seen him in the, in the original resolution. So we started here, and if you were observant, when we started this scene, she was talking to the cow, and the microphone was right there. Of course the cow cannot fit in the lawn chair. So we have to implicate the cow as being involved with the picture. Where were we? I think we were discussing the alien love triangle times and that nasty scandalous affair of yours. There's more you should know about that picture in the Times. What's that? I could probably have spe spent another 20 minutes going through all there these are combinations. Still others involved. And if you didn't Incredible. really know the solution, you probably Ooh. would. Uh, but since I know the solution, and it was obvious to my mind after playing the game, uh, and playing games like this before it, uh, it's pretty easy to figure out that Bessie the Cow is the right person to implicate here. Bessie Bovine, our co-star on Midtown Cowboys. Oh my! Audience, shall we bring her back out again? It's also interesting to realize that this is a boss fight. At the risk of making the obvious comment, that was shocking! Is she breathing? A little. But the creepy teddy bear is toast. Nuts! I wanted to ask it a few questions, and maybe use it to hypnotize Katie Couric. Another glorious dream bangs its chin on the dirty pavement. On the bright side, the audience is free to go home. Oh, I was just getting warmed up. Do you think Myra will have us back on the show again soon? Um, speaking of unlikely, did you notice we just had two cases in a row involving hypnotic mind control? Complete coincidence? Mm. Yes, I think so. <laughs> the talks of the universe synchronize in ways we're not meant to see. Speaking of things we're not meant to see, there's a new restaurant at the zoo where you can eat what they feed the animals. Empty popcorn cartons and cigarette butts. And processed bread logs loaded with tranquilizers and antidepressants. Bread logs make me loogie. To Myra, to love the to toy mafia. Right. Okay, but I get the feet. And that's Situation Comedy, Episode 2 of Sam and Max Save the World. Uh, 
quite ununiquely but kind of interesting how that was a boss fight and while it went about in a very different way it is so like a lot of boss fights that came out in 2006 and a lot of boss fights that even come out in 2015 it's very much we have three things you are supposed to do and have to do to win and we're gonna make it kinda hard to figure out how to do it and what order to do it but once you do those three things you win of course the only other kind of boss fight you could really have would have been so, like a health bar type thing which might have been kind of funny if you figured out how to lower her health by talking her or manipulating things uh, but that was you're know, pretty abrupt to just wander into the main the final puzzle here and then you kind of just abruptly succeed at the main puzzle I mean I could see people actually just wandering into that solution and going oh that's what it was intended and that's supposed to be part of the joke of games like this is that you're going to find the most ridiculous uh, combination of actions and that's somehow gonna win the game for you but it needs to be a little bit more obvious so the player knows what they're doing Anywho, so far so good we're gonna start with next episode their episode 3 uh, in the next recording and we're going to continue all the way through season one so that's it for this recording this episode I wish they called their episodes chapters because there really is an overall story being told in most of these games and it's not like each episode by their description is a separate and completely isolated story it's more like a chapter whereas my recordings are episodes uh, just because I like to use that word because really mine don't finish either so maybe I should stop using the word episodes I guess I need to really think about it if I'm gonna hold them to the standard that it has to be a complete story to be called an episode well then my videos need to be a complete story and they certainly aren't they are a organic review all once all combined together uh, so I need to start training myself just to call them recordings and be more accurate. Anywho, that's it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. All that helps me out. If you want to support me, you can click on my name, Rido. On the right will be a blue button that says support this channel. Click it and make a donation. And please do friend and follow me on all the social media sites. I have a bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.